Alright, so in this video, I'm gonna be talking about another approach for biomedical event extraction. And we are using this paper, we are explaining this paper in 2020. Biomedical event extraction is fundamental for information extraction in molecular biology and biomedical research. The detected events from form the central basis for comprehensive biomedical knowledge fusion, facilitating the digestion of massive information influx from the literature. Limited by the, by the event context, the existing event detection models are mostly applicable for a single task. A general and scalable computational model is, con is desiderated for biomedical knowledge management. This is the statistics of the arguments for two tasks in BioNLP shared task. For example, for argument type protein, we have 29 training set. Or for location, we have 260 in BioNLP 2016. And uh, these are important data sets for biomedical domain in biomedical text. And this is the overview of the neural network architecture for argument embedding and event detection. So this VEC, VEC net, this is used for as the input of this uh, VCOM net. And VCOM net is trained for directed event detection using the event annotation the training set. So we are using BioLSTM, but here the word embedding sequences W0 till WA and WA till WA are two different directions because it's bidirectional LSTM. So this XI stands for, for the surrounding words of entity I. WAB is the sequence of words from eighth to bth word. And we adopt a close boundary strategy to construct the contextual word sequences because the named entities itself may contain useful information to distinguish the argument context. So because it's BioSDM, we use both directions. And then we are doing argument embedding we are doing uh, we are using sigmoid here and then tan edge nonlinearity and these are fully connected network so we give x to this biostem and the rest is a neural network and we get this loss so this is the argument embedding part the trigger information as well as their relation is encoded into argument embedding for event detection Since we are not aware of the true argument type for each entity, we use both embedding types with different orders for the entity pairs. So we explicitly multiply this factor matrix to conduct the vector composition before proceeding to the full connected layer. The subtraction layer can decrease the number of neurons in the multilayer perceptron and thus its model generalization. So the resultant directed event estimator is demonstrated in these equations. You are using multilayer perceptron and then this network. So it's, we use sigmoid nonlinearity. 
and you see the results, the F1 score is still low for some event types like transcription factor, like site of, which is very low, maybe because we have little data, not fair amount of data for individual event types.